You know, there's a piece I enjoy. I don't know if this today I kind of heard it for my for the first time as I listened to the introduction of Dido. He said I ask you to dedicate yourself to personal growth. And I, I if that piece, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. My topic this evening is harvest. And one of the things, one question I want you to leave this place with is what do you want to harvest? And how conscious are you about it? Years ago, we used to, we had a farm at the back of our house. We had a rice farm. And that rice farm, it was a lot of work. We will plant the rice, we will do transplanting, we will, the rice grew, we plant the rice where they swam. So by the time the water level goes down, we plant the rice. And if by the time the rice is growing, the water level would have risen, we will drive birds. And sometimes the question I ask myself, why are we doing all this? But in the end, one day after all that work, we get to a point where we have sufficient rice. We have enough rice. And by the time when we have enough rice, we kind of forget all those times where we labored to get the rice. Harvest is that time where you are able to reap what you sow. Harvest is that time where you are able to get the benefit of your effort. The question I want to ask you again is, what do you want to harvest? What are you, are you, are you constantly living, consciously trying to get that harvest? Someone can, someone might say, probably I don't have a lot of money to invest at this time. I don't have this to invest at this time. I don't have that to invest at this time. I heard something from someone many years ago called emotional bank account. By the explanation, what it meant is that if I can smile with you every morning, if I need your help, it's easy for me to get your hand. Something I noticed, you know, being a black man, teaching white students, dominantly, predominantly white, is a challenge all by itself. And I'm not a proper teacher. Making it more difficult. I have to realize that if I can meet these kids, the five minutes wait time between the classes, and I can interact with them personally, the rest of the class goes smooth. The question I'm asking, those little things that we can invest today to make tomorrow better, how are we doing it? How are we handling it? I noticed if I can send you a text message, especially at the time when you need it most, what it does, is that it softens your heart. Every time, anytime I need your hand, your hand will be available. I've also come to realize that that if I see you along the way and I can call your name, the rest of the day you'll be thinking about me. And it's as if I want a place in your heart especially when I call your name when you did not expect me. For the right season, you have to wait for a long time before you can harvest. For the rest of our lives, every day can be a planting season and every day can be a harvest, depending on how conscious we are about it. What are you investing? 
Every morning I wake up and I ask myself, how can I make my life better? How can I add value to someone next to me? If we must go forward, it has to be consciously. There is a law in Nisha, Newton first law in Nisha. It says a body at rest will remain at rest. A body in motion will remain in motion unless an external force acts on it. And that external force is a conscious act. It's a conscious decision we take. I want to leave you with this. What do you want to harvest? How conscious are you about it? Thank you.